जगी सर्व सुखी असा कोण आहे विचारी मना तूच शोधू न पाहे दिस लोका सेज दॅट नो वन इन द वर्ल्ड इज कम्प्लिटली हॅपी ऑल पीपल हॅव दॅर ओन प्रॉब्लेम्स बीट स्मॉल ऑर बिग हॅलो एव्हरी वन माय नेम इज गीत जोशी अँड टुडे आय वॉन्ट टू टॉक अबाउट हाऊ टीन एजर्स फॉल इन टू द ट्रॅप ऑफ मेंटल इलनेस टुडे आय वॉन्ट टू ॲड्रेस अ क्रिटिकल अँड ऑफ्टन ओव्हरलुक टॉपिक दॅट प्रोफाउंडली इम्पॅक्ट्स मिलियन्स ऑफ पीपल वर्ल्ड वाईड मेंटल हेल्थ इट इज क्रुशल टू अंडरस्टँड द वेरियस रीजन्स दॅट लीड टू इंडिव्हिज्युअल्स टेकिंग ऑन सम फॉर्म ऑफ मेंटल इलनेस आय एम गोईंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाऊ पीपल मोर स्पेसिफिकली टीन एजर्स पुट दॅम सेल्फ्स इन टू प्रॉब्लेम्स लाईफ इज अन अनप्रेडिक्टेबल जर्नी फिल विथ बोत जॉईस अँड हार्डशिप्स हाऊ एव्हर द वेट ऑफ दीज स्ट्रगल्स कॅन टेक अ टोल ऑन अर मेंटल वेल बीईंग द कॉन्स्टंट प्रेशर्स ऑफ मॉडर्न लाईफ द डिमांड्स ऑफ वर्क अँड स्कूल द कॉम्प्लेक्सिटीज ऑफ पर्सनल रिलेशनशिप्स एडिशनली पास ट्रॉमास अँड अनरिझॉल्ड इमोशनल इशूज कॅन ब्रिंग फर्दर प्रॉब्लेम्स इन टू द सिच्युएशन इमॅजिन यू हॅव अन इंटरव्ह्यू ऑफ युअर ड्रीम जॉब टुमॉरो बट यू स्पेंड द नाईट बिफोर टेकिंग टेन्शन or thinking about about the amount of pressure that is on you you keep the same mentality while giving the interview and in the end you lose that one chance of getting into your dream job this is why you need to be mentally strong and prepared for the future in my life i have encountered with many types of people with mental health problems each with their own unique struggles we all have seen those who genuinely have mental health problems they face battles that may not be apparent on the surface and they deserve our empathy and support as they navigate through the difficult journey let me share a few examples of situations that made me start thinking the first group that put me to thought consists of people who pretend to be struggling with mental health problems to provide comfort to their friends this group has an admirable intention they want to show tremendous care and support for their friends who are genuinely struggling The second group consists of those who act as if they have mental health struggles for the sake of following a trend or seeking attention. Pretending to have mental health problems without a valid reason is a dangerous act and and can have significant consequences for the, for the individual and those around them. In this process of pretending, we don't understand that we are losing a part of ourselves. Mental illness is not a trend or a flex. It is a genuine and complex struggle. that requires understanding empathy and appropriate support now let us look back into the time when our parents were teenagers if asked whether they were going into depression most of them would reply with yes i've been, i've been wanting to go there for a long time or simply saying no it sounds like a boring place back then there was not much awareness about mental health and many teenagers did suffer but they did not know it was due to mental health problems even though awareness about mental health has increased today anyone can interpret it differently let me help you understand a theory presented by a psychologist eric erickson according to his theory teenagers experience a stage of identity versus role confusion during this phase teens have questions about their identity values and beliefs seeking to understand who they truly are and what kind of identification they want in this quest of trying to find out their true role and identity teenagers may be influenced by societal trends and peer pressure the struggle to align with a specific role can lead to some teenagers to exaggerate some mental health problems this theory was quite relatable to me to fit in we find ourselves drawn towards trends and popular behavior let me take an example of something i have done multiple times and i'm sure you have to i wanted to get out of playing basketball so i pretended to have hurt my hand I kept it twisted in a weird position but at the end of the day my hand actually started hurting that's how mental health works you may you may not realize this in the start but when you pretend to have mental challenges in some time you actually start struggling depression personality disorders and extreme anxiety are some of the symptoms to pretend to do something you research how things work and when you find out things like even a little anxiety is a symptom of mental illness you start to panic leading to actual anxiety teenagers experience a great need to find their place in the world to belong to a group and to be accepted by their peers this sense of belonging provides a sense of security validation and identity 
In the pursuit of fitting in, some teenagers may resort to pretending to have mental health problems, so uh, thinking they can fit in with those struggling. During this process, our temper may be unpredictable, our grades may drop, and we may get easily distracted. Our daily habits may deteriorate, and, and we might withdraw from our social life. These changes are dangerous. As we navigate our journey through life and beyond, let us remember that mental, health, uh, mental illness is n as important as our physical health. By understanding and respecting the complexities of mental health, we can truly support one another and build a compassionate and empathetic society. When I was doing my research, I found out about a rare syndrome, the Munchausen syndrome. This is a rare disease when a person fakes an illness to gain attention. Let me take an example. There are so many children whose parents are going through a divorce. Sometimes uh, parents don't pay much attention to their children. In these cases, uh, children may fake a mental illness to seek attention from their parents. If this kind of behavior exceeds its limit, a person may be affected by the syndrome. The problem with this syndrome is that since it's an extremely rare disease, there is not much research about it. Firstly, it is hard to diagnose. And even though treatment is available, curing the syndrome is rarely successful. To even give the treatment, extensive research must be done. And in worst case scenarios, patients may relapse for unknown reasons. By now, I think you all must have understood that we must foster an environment that encourages authentic self-expression and open communication. Parents, educators, and society as a whole play an important role in helping teenagers navigate through this phase of life with self-confidence and self-awareness. By providing a supportive non and non-judgmental atmosphere, we can empower teenagers to embrace their true identities and understand that they do not need to pretend to have mental health problems to belong or to be accepted. We should find ourselves without being pressurized. We should not do things to follow trends or to support others. I am me. And you are you. I'm a completely different person than you. I have my own uniqueness in me, and you have yours. We all need to support the ones struggling, but not by mocking their behavior. I think by now, you all must have understood how we get ourselves into unnecessary problems. We all know that mental illness is not a joke, and it can impact us severely. And I think we all need to ask ourselves this question. Why do something unnecessarily when it's going to affect our future? We need a mentally strong, future-ready workforce so that in the future, we can battle out any problems that come our way so that we can live the life we want. I'm going to end my speech with a quote now. Every person in this world is full of great possibilities and that can be realized through imagination, effort, and perseverance. Scott Berry Kaufman. Thank you.